Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, information, education, guidance, advice, and I'm reminded of um, two observations made by uh, uh, made of uh, Rabbi Eli Melech of Lezhensk, both concerning Shabbos, both concerning the Sabbath. Sometimes on Erev Shabbos, at the beginning of the uh, Shabbos, Kabbalah uh, Shabbos, Rabbi Eli Melech would sometimes look at his watch. He would take out his pocket watch and look at his watch. And then he'd pray for a little while and then he'd stop and he'd, he'd look at his watch. He'd concentrate on his watch. Then he'd pray and watch, pray and watch what was going on. Um, at that time, on those times when he was looking at his watch, um, he was afraid that his soul would simply dissolve in bliss and ecstasy. So he looked at his watch to steady himself in time and place. That watch was like his anchor. Um, because when Sabbath was arriving, when we sing uh, the prayers, uh, prayers of sanctification, when we say, sing Al-Hadoidi, ushering in the Sabbath bride, when uh, uh, we, uh, we later at Kiddush, when we're doing Ashes um, Chayel, these prayers are so tied to the Sabbath. He was afraid that he would just like dissolve, melt into a mist uh, from the sheer uh, bliss, the sheer ecstasy of the arrival of Shabbos. Um, a related story, Rabbi El Melech of Lezhensk. When the moment came when L'Chadoidi was being sung and there's a part where we turn and we face the back of the synagogue and greet the Sabbath and people would sing this, um, these verses sometimes in a rather uh, joyful and, and boisterous manner. Um, as Shabbos began, Rabbi Eli Melech, he couldn't endure not only the voices proclaiming it but the rush of the arriving sabbath he had to stop up his ears he literally had to clamp his ears his hands over his ears um, to keep the holy thunder of shabbos from deafening him um, may we all get a tiny glimpse of that joy and that ecstasy on Shabbos, when we sing L'Chadoidi, when um, we light Shabbos candles, um, when we say Kiddush, when we sing Eishas Hail, when we sing Shalom Aleichem, a bit, a speck, a spark of the joy that threatened to carry Rebbe Elimelech of Lezhensk away and uh, have him dissolve into a mist. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.